production. A lot of people are even into music production, but are not getting it right. This morning, we have somebody that will talk to you about how to go about it, how to get it right, how to enjoy what you're doing, and most importantly, how to make money. In the studio with us this morning, we have no other person but um, someone that is a music producer, an actor, is also a model. And I'm going to ask him something about that modeling part of Ace. He's got so many awards in music production. His name is Ife McDonald. So let's talk music production. Yeah. How long have you been doing music? Yes, I. In uh, 2013. August 30th to be precise. That was when I finished my internship. And that's when I graduated to being a full-blown music producer. How has music production been over the years for you? Well, music production so far for me has been a journey, has been, um, has been an inclined journey because music, the music industry keeps on evolving. Mm -hmm. And if you are doing your old method, you will probably not be re relevant today. So. You need to keep on, you know, looking for ways to reinvent yourself, reinvent your brand, and also reach out to more people. And can anyone be a music um, producer? Everyone can't be a music producer okay. because the truth is that music production is different from beat making. Everybody can actually learn the art of beat making. Okay, you get, get the software, you go on YouTube, you know. But music production is deeper than that. I, I went into acting in 2012 after my YSC, and, you know, I'm like, okay, what can I do? I knew that I wasn't cut off for work okay. in the start. I knew that I wasn't... The, the, to, the, 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 the Yeah, the 9 to 5. I knew that I wasn't cut off for that. So I went into acting. It was really frustrating. Acting was really frustrating for me. You understand? So I'm like, ah, can we play keyboard now? Yeah, now go on. So I was running a professional program, a networking program for my computer science. And, you know, I'm like, okay, I have time. So let me go learn. So I applied for a studio. Gracefully, they accepted me. So I'm just like, okay, since I can play the keyboard, let me, you know, look for ways to reinvent myself as a producer. So that was actually what. So if it's in maybe in a hustle hunger, yeah, that actually good. gave birth to my music production. But I just actually wanted more. I wanted to be more, more than just someone that just plays the keyboard. Okay. Yeah, so, so tell us about this. Difference. Yes. So basically, people people really confuse beat making for. Music uh, for music production. Yeah, they're actually in the same industry, but the beat, mo beat making process is another, is, is a, it's like, okay, let's take a building, for example. Music production is the total building. Music production is from foundation, you f buying the land first, getting where you want to build, getting an, getting an architect, the kind of building you want to build, and, okay, I want... A bungalow. I want two-story buildings. I want three-story buildings. You know, and that that brings us to music structuring. Music production is the whole process: mixing, mastering, the final process. Beat making could be like okay. Beat making is okay. Let us, for for example, beat making is just a process. Let's say cementing, or let's say laying blocks, or let's say laying foundation. Okay. You understand that other things outside laying foundation. You could lay foundation in your house, but yet you can't move into the house. No, yes, so you need the complete process. You need somebody that's a music producer. That okay, has let me give you, let me help you here. Because, yeah. uh, because okay. the man with the computer seems so easy because it's technology and yeah. everything. In fact, it was so easy, so very, very, you know. But, you know, the physical one where you had all the drums and everything, you still had to, the, no, 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 the, the sound is, the yeah. keyboard is going above the voice, the yeah. voice, you know. So who is more of a music producer amongst them? Okay, so or are they both not music producers? So they are, they are, they are all now. This music production process, like I said, if we take cognizance of this building, you know, this this music production process is you can't see, you won't say because you're an interior decorator, you won't say because you're a carpenter, you won't say because you're a painter, okay. you will not come and say you are a builder, wow, you understand? You will not come and say you are a this. So they are all in the process of you will need a carpenter in your house when you're building. Mm. You need a painter, you need a person molding block. Now, those are all segments. Beat making is also a segment of the total music production. But right now, we have a lot of beat makers saying that. Mm -hmm. that you have architecture, too, is also, legal, too, is also part of music production. You understand? Marketing is also part of music production. You get so, um, songwriting is also part of music production. Mm -hmm. So you can't just take one part. Okay, just imagine that a songwriter writes a song for you, and I tell you that I'm a music producer. But actually, to be truthful, the songwriter composed the music. Mm. 
So, but the songwriter is not a music producer. It's just a part of the music production process. So the music production, we will take uh, one of your works now. But okay. before that, I just want to get, I want our viewers to get it right now. The music production is like the mother of it all. The total package from A to Z. Yeah. And can one person stand in that, um, you know, uh, gap. Tag, in that gap? Um, yeah, professionally. Like, let me help you now. You're using the, 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 ha the house now as a case study. Yes. The architect now is the master of them all. Yes. Because he's the master planner. Yes. Is that what you but, but the architect is not the one naming. He's the not. architect is not the one planning. Mm. So not everybody has the ability to be an architect. Mm. So there are some people now, they, they call themselves executive producers. They don't know how to play. They don't know. Mm. They just in the studio, they'll tell you this thing is not going to blow. Remove it from there. The, those are the executive producers. They are also music producers, but they don't do anything. They are the ones that oversee the project from A to Z. Well, I'm really interested. They and one person stand in the gap. Yes, one, 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 one person can stand in the gap. Yes. Okay, we one trained, person. elite, professional yeah, person. I think that. Yeah. Do you need the permission of the owner of the music? So we are going to need the permission of the owner of the music only when we want to start making money from it. Is it not possible that, because we have to enlighten, enlighten people, yeah. that the owner of the music, seeing now that the remix is m more popular yeah. than the original, can the owner of the music not come out with you know, a fight or something? I just use that as a case. Yeah, thing. okay, so for, for, for instance, now there was a real life, a, there was a real life um, scenario that happened. There was a particular song on YouTube that got really big. It got like almost times three bigger than the original song. And the original artist told you to, to YouTube to take down the video, and the video was taken down. Mm. It's 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 okay. Some of my works have been taken down. I have some of my covers that had the potential and already was overshadowing the original, and the issue take down. And we are we are we're actually okay with it. It's fine. Yes. With all of this experience, what would you advise me as a young um, and up and coming um, artist? that wants to do something like this. Because, yeah. because you are experienced, you might feel it's not a big deal. If I, as a young and uh, up and coming artist, do all of these and all of a sudden it's put down, I feel so discouraged at times, yeah. emotionally down, emotionally yeah. drained and all of that. So what would you advise me in a case I want to do something like that? Okay, so because you just never can tell what will blow. I'm, I'm going to tell you that you, you made a hit. You made a cover that was a hit you also have the potential to make another hit. You have the potential to also make another hit. So if one of your work gets pulled down, you move on. Must it be solo? Yeah. I said, must it be solo? So b b basically, we have, we have different sets. Now we have different sets, but most times we showcase individual singers. But if you want to duet, if you want to come with a choir, if you want your full distance, fine, that, that can also be arranged. If you want a full band, we can also arrange a full band for you. But basically, we're just showcasing individual world-class singers from Nigeria. Okay. The, the Vixens, they play a very, very important role in music production. Yes. Tell us about this Vixens. Because, as, as, like I asked you off camera, Yeah. gone are those days, you see parents who say, what, we want to be a musician. Well, I'm going to read your book. But now, yeah. and they, they will still, right from babies, they buy the instrument and all of that, you know seeing that music has evolved. But being a vixen is, is still something that uh, parents are still skeptical about. Now, yeah. as a parent, as an intellectual, convince me to allow my daughter to, to be a vixen. Ma, we have a shoot that has the potential to go viral, to reach over a billion people. And we are, first of all, vixen, video vixen is not just a female job. They are, male, they are male vixens, they are female vixens. But most of the times they are females, and most of the times they come out, you know, you know, exposing a lot of, a lot yeah, of so many parts of their body. That I is the narrative. That, about it. that is the narrative that because has... the vixen expose our body. No, that is the narrative that has been sold. Mm. The fact that you hear Afrobeat, it's not just the fact that every Nigerian music must be Afrobeat. Mm. So it's the fact that you hear video vixens, it's not that every vixen must come out and expose her body okay. or his body. Okay. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Right. I guess I've sold that. Yeah. Yes. Throughout the week, it's been uh, Funke Akindele and JJ Skills. JJ Skills, you know, for some time now, a lot of speculations came out. People were saying they are separated. Some are saying they are not. All of a sudden, from nowhere, AMVCA, Funke Akindele came 
out with that picture of both of them seated with themselves. But you see, I smelled a rat because usually they do the normal and cool things. But when I didn't see that and cool thing, I smelled that rat. Only for JJC to come and break uh, the ice bag. All right, entertainment tidbits. We have something interesting for you to watch. Sit back. Nigerian actor Funke Akindele and music executive JJC Skills. We will come your way same time, same station next week. I remain Yinka Kenny. For now, it is. Bye-bye.